Hey what's up guys, John here and this is my second video from my month long adventure in Africa. After revisiting the Living with Big Cats program, I flew up to an area called Hood Spray to check out Volunteer Southern Africa's newest and most exclusive project yet. The Living with Big Cats program has gotten so popular now that they've added a second location. The program is called Living with Big Cats Wild Edition, and it's located right on the border of one of the biggest national parks in all of Africa, Kruger National Park. Other than being right next door to Kruger, what makes this project so unique is that you're out in the middle of the bush. You're on a massive property with tons of free roaming wild animals, but they only accept a limited number of both guests and volunteers, so it keeps the experience really personal and intimate. So day one, they took us out to do some exploring. We drove around, we saw a lot of the wild animals. Then they took us to one of the pools, and all of a sudden we look and we see this cheetah just laying there, relaxing on a lounge chair next to the pool. That was just really funny to see like a full grown female cheetah just laying by the pool. You could just walk up freely, pet her, and then she's completely chill with you. They have three cheetahs there who are just free to roam the property as they please, which for me was mind-blowing because even when I've seen cheetahs that are somewhat tame and human tolerant, they don't have free reign to just walk around wherever they want. So at any given time you could be out somewhere and then have a cheetah just casually stroll past you. That was pretty cool. Volunteer duties include a little bit of everything. Sometimes it could be things like weeding and removing alien vegetation from certain areas. A few mornings we woke up early to do fence duty. Because there are so many wild animals, they can be a target for poachers. So fence duty is where you drive around the property looking for and repairing holes in the fence where poachers may have tried to sneak in. We also had the pleasure of getting to see a few different animals that I'd personally never seen before, like the king cheetah. King cheetahs have this rare genetic mutation, and it causes them to have stripes instead of just the regular spots. Volunteers and guests also have the option to do cheetah walks, where they get to experience the beauty of walking with cheetahs through the bush. The scenery was beautiful and all of it was amazing, but the main thing that I'm always going to remember about my experience at this project was the anti-poaching work that we did with the rhinos. Ready? In South Africa, poaching is one of the biggest threats to a lot of these animals that are quickly becoming endangered. And when it comes to rhinos, there's a massive demand for their horns. a major problem at the moment. We're losing over a thousand rhinos a year. So we dehorn them. Everyone knows we've got rhino, but they know we've got no horn as well. It deters the poachers away. In the morning we help search for the rhinos, so we needed to track them and then stay with them and wait for the vet to arrive. The vet came, darted them, and they started marking up the horn. I think it's eight centimeters, and then that's where they like cut the horn. If you cut too low, like you cut a little bit low, you just nick the top of the bone. If you cut very low, you cut into the sinuses. Okay, that's so why we have to leave this much horn. tell how loving the vet was and how everyone cared so much. It's a really good process to see and it was cool that after they were dehorned we got to help weighing them and measuring them and making sure there's like the GPS chip in them. Nobody else has had that same experience that we've had. It's been completely unique. It's not something you'd ever really get to do in your day-to-day -day life.
There are a lot of volunteer programs in South Africa, but I truly can't believe just how lucky we were to be able to take part in something like this. You can go to a lot of different places and see animals, but knowing that you're doing something to contribute to the survival of these animals, knowing that your actions are truly making a positive difference, that to me is worth more than anything.